What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. So, uh, I know I've done this character before. Um, I really wanted to get to this one because there was a number of you that had mentioned it. But, um, furthermore, the creator of these videos, so uh, the channel that we're watching here, TVDU Editor, um, actually happened to comment on one of the videos. Um, I think it was the long... Klaus one, the one that was like 24 minutes. I can't remember what, it, was it called the great one or something? I, I'm not sure, but I think it was on that one. And uh, they were very gracious. They were actually really excited that I was doing uh, like video reactions to their stuff. Um, and I think that's really awesome because I think there's too much stuff where like, I've tried to react to things and then the content creators kind of reject it and say, no, I don't, I don't want you making a video about it. Um, and that kind of sucks because I feel like there's so many people on YouTube watching stuff that there's enough for everybody to kind of share. And I think it was really refreshing for me to see um, TVDU editor kind of reach out and be super positive and super like on board uh, for me doing these videos. So uh, if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you so much for being so gracious and being so kind about that. Um, I just wish there was more of that on the platform because I think we could all have a much better time uh, and all be much more successful together if we did that. So uh, if you guys aren't already subscribed to that channel, which doubt it, but if you aren't, uh, make sure you guys do that. Um, so I'm really excited to get into this one. Elijah Michelson, the honorable one. Without further ado, let's see what we got. Good evening. Good evening. Who is he? Who are you? Who are you? I trust I need no introduction. Elijah Michelson. No. He a vampire? He's one of the vampires, the originals. I'm Elijah. Sorry guys, real fast. Just an update. We are at over 380 votes. That's awesome. Again, I'm a new channel, guys, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, if you haven't voted on the poll, please go to my community tab and uh, put your vote in on how you want me to start. Um, my aim is to do the first episode of my reactions next week um, to the show. At the moment, from those 380 votes, it is a 76-24% split. 24% want me to go straight into the original, so uh, it looks like that's probably not how we're going to do it. 76% say I should do episode, uh, sorry, seasons one through four of TVD, um, so I can get some background on how the world works. Also, the, the build up towards um, some of the original characters, which they said is worth the watch. So uh, if you haven't voted, head over to the community tab, make sure you vote. I'm really excited to get into it. Um, the goal is next week. So sorry about the interruption. You heard of me? Yes. Original vampire always wears a suit. You're the one they call honorable. Yes, you know who I am. That's what they call me. Elijah's very careful with his words. I will always protect you. I give you my word. Now you have my word. I give you my word. You have my word on that. And noble Elijah always keeps his word. My brother always mm -hmm. keeps his word. Elijah is not just any vampire and he doesn't break promises. Promise me that you'll stop him. You'll keep your promise about your mother's spell book. I'm a man of my word, Elena. I made you a promise. Elijah is a noble man, Stefan. Elijah, you're a man of honor. He lives by a code of honor. I can trust him. You should be trusted, but I want to hear you say it again. Give me your word! I make a deal, I keep a deal. I give you my word. You have my word that I will pardon you. We have a deal. Leave her. I'll make you one last promise. I won't let my brother kill Agnes. I gave my word. You tend to give your word at the most inopportune times, brother. You have asked for my forgiveness. I will grant you that forgiveness. But do not make me break my word. Mm. Listen to me very carefully. I told a good friend I'd do my very best to spare the lives of her people. You leave right now. My noble brother. I will honor that. Stay. You can go now. When the situation becomes irrefutably awkward. Perhaps I'm not making myself clear here. This is a threat. It's fine. He can't come in. I love that style. I mean, we've seen some of these things uh, through the other compilations. Um, like some of these scenes a lot of these scenes, but it's just like they're good enough to see over and over and over again uh, I mean that part right there just in case it wasn't clear that was a threat like oh my god I gotta use that I don't get into situations like that where I'm like threatening people but just hypothetically if I was to I got to keep that in the back pocket Awkward. Perhaps I'm not making myself clear here. This is a threat. It's fine. He can't come in Can't I? You should probably leave 
Still, it is just like you to spoil my fun. Oh, not necessarily. Gentlemen. To whom it may concern, uh, you're making a great mistake if you think that you can beat me. Shall we? How dare you come in here and challenge me? Are you challenging me? What are you waiting for? Take them now! Flank him! Take him down now! Ah! You can't Double heart grab. You. I'm an original. I swore you would not die. By my brother's hand. There's no need to be afraid. Sometimes there's honor and revenge. I said nothing. My own. This is what befalls anyone who bargains with Elijah Michelson. What are you doing? Now that you're free, show a little respect. You've had a deal. We are not on the same side. Our deal no longer stands. You look me in the eyes and lie to my face. Who's Elijah? Elijah. It's your worst nightmare. Thank you for having the good sense to be frank. Do you know one thing I've learned in my time on this earth? You choose your own family always. Be careful what you wish for. Are we done? That is why. You're as cursed as that. Damn. I mean, first of all, he's in good shape, but the dude came around like no shirt, covered in blood. Golly. What is it you see? So that first section, this is chaptered as well, just like the previous long one for Klaus. That first section was the noble stag. Um, so a lot of it was about his nobility, his honor, his um, his word. Uh, and we've reacted to the video called Noble Stag, which definitely covered a lot of that aspect of his character. Now, this has been touched on in another video I watched from him, The Red Door, and this like kind of thing that haunts him. Uh, I'm very, very, very intrigued and very curious about this red door thing. When you go away like that. You look at me and you see everything you were born yourself. Things I've done. Images of who I was. No, I'm no stranger to violence. You call yourself the noble one, but you're a killer. Just like your brother. You still thought there weren't lines you wouldn't cross. People you wouldn't hurt. Things you wouldn't do. But you are wrong. For a thousand years you fed on innocent blood. No more hiding. It is time now for you to remember it all. Let's start with what you've referred to as the red door. It's an image from my past. My youth was the door to a slaughterhouse. Even you, Elijah, with your claim to nobility, you're no better. I need to show you the monster you really are. When I do, you will beg for salvation. Sure, you dress it up with your fancy suits and your handkerchiefs. You, with your mask of civility and eloquence, you're every bit the abomination I am. Now, again, I've seen a lot of these clips. Uh, this is a complete tangent from this, but earlier they said the man who wears the suit, Klaus just mentioned, you know, you know with your suits. and um, I absolutely love how suits look. I just find them incredibly uncomfortable. Maybe I just need to get like the right material or like get it tailored properly. I don't know what it is. I would love to look that way all the time, but I couldn't stand feeling that way. Like that's just me. I don't know how you guys feel. Let me know down below. Oh, was it looks dope. Though. I told you to clean yourself up that if you were clean, no one would know what you are or what you've done. Look at you, brother. You're a mess. You began to believe that as long as your suit was immaculate and your hands clean, you could look in the mirror and tell yourself it's all okay. And as we both know, untidiness is your undoing. This illusion that I have created over the course of my life. Noble stag. I know more about the secrets you carry than you do. Shall I list them? I can begin with the first little butterfly you destroyed. Do your soiled clothes serve as a reminder of your filthy memories? It's nothing more than a deception. Your many sins. This were unspeakable deeds in the darkness. This is where the deeds are concealed. Is that a hint of the fabled beast behind the red door? Behind that door. Why that particular door? This is where the first woman I ever loved told me she loved me in return. Choose you, Elijah. It's also where I laid her body after I took her life. <laughs> Did not. I'm so, I am so, so curious about that. Like, that just sounds like heart-wrenching. I just want to know what happened. Hurt, Tatia. I could not. But you did. I'm not. I'm once. It was I who killed Tatia. 
My brother loved Tatia as, as deeply as I did. Are you having bad memories now, brother? Sometimes it appears to me in flashes. Long before it's your beloved Haley's corpse behind that door. No. Stop. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Please. I always thought you would protect her. Elisha. Run. You didn't want her. You loved her. I cared too deeply for her. And you cannot allow me to live with what I've seen. You will not suffer from this memory or be tormented from the guilt of your misdeed. You created a place in your mind for your victims. Haley. What goes behind that door shall stay there and be forgotten. I hunted her down, and mercilessly I feasted upon her flesh. I tore her from us. And a place meant to hold one unforgivable sin is now full to bursting with your most monstrous evil. Pleasure. Typically, however, I am possessed of a certain control. Every now and then I can be consumed with chaos. I went through the red door. You saw it. The violence, the rage. That's what he is. Well, I was never good. It's quite the monster you got lurking. All you represent to me is death. Or any one of the other four souls who met their fate at your hands. You want to see mine? So you can only see me as some kind of merciless butcher. Yes, I do. <laughs> I tried to save him, but the things I saw, the innocent people, the slaughter. What would you have done to those? I gotta, I gotta watch these Red Door episodes. I mean, the, the thing is, you can tell by the way that things are kind of building up, the way these scenes are put together, that it could potentially damage your... Uh, image of him but I think what it's doing is it's actually making you kind of maybe feel some sympathy that like th there is this torment and this darkness that he's trying to compensate for and that's why he has these certain rules that he follows the the cleanliness the suit the all that stuff it just he just seems like a very like complex rich character and i gotta find out about this red door those kids elijah what'd you do whatever i had to do elijah stop stop you fell for the suit you've taught yourself to hide from who and what you are for a thousand years elijah long white corridor with a red door that's where you hide the things you don't want to remember i mean you've been doing it for a thousand years no one need know what's behind that red door i really thought that i would find it Please. Elijah, let me ask you a question. Do you remember at all what it's like to be a human being? I think maybe that's who he really is at his core. What I had turned you into. Not really. A predator. But he chose the darkest part of himself. Only together can we defeat our demons and save our family. But Elijah has only ever done those things for the family. And that is why he's the very best of us. He always has been. The act may be reprehensible. Brother's Redemption, next chapter. Um, I mean, that line has stood out to me. I think at least in one or two other compilations, I've heard that line. He's only ever done whatever he's done for his family. That's why he's always going to be the best of us. Like, I'm paraphrasing. Um, and that, again, it doesn't solve things for me at this point. Uh, I will only get the answers by watching the show. What reason would he have when he says that he killed the one the person the one person who loved him back or whatever to protect the family? I just need to need to know. Oh man! But you're admitting to it. Don't answer you to be down the man below. I thought you to be. He is the noble stag, no longer. One day a new monster shall remain. I haven't cared about anything for centuries. Why on earth do you? You still cling to the hope that I can be redeemed, and if the bastard. Can be saved. Or well, maybe there's hope for you. When I talk of virtue, when it suits my needs, I kill, maim, and torment because I failed you. It turns out my brother is even more depraved than I am. Why are you trying to put together your family when it's so clear that one part of it is broken? You coveted the duties of the eldest brother, in which case you had Neron a millennium to fix. 
fix the problems of this family and instead produce nine centuries of failure. Despite every one of your despicable deeds, I alone have always stood by you. All told, he has a long history of getting himself into trouble. And I'm guessing you have a long history of getting him out of it. Why is that? Count. Because the first time our father laid a hand on you, the boy needs to be made strong. Ah! I should have struck him dead. He's still in there. He can't help trying to fix what's broken. To me, the very definition of the word broken suggests that something can be fixed. Help him find his way. I have a whole eternity to accomplish one single task. My brother's salvation. If I surrender this, then tell me what value would I be to him, my, my family, to myself. A thousand years I survived your attempts to destroy my brother. Your brother Klaus handed you to Marcel in box. Yet you still don't give up on him. You don't make it easy to love. And yet you are obstinate in your desire to do so. Klaus is stark, raving mad, not to mention completely irredeemable. You always talk of Nick's happiness. Perhaps there is hope for our brother after all. You see, my son, my disease has always been blind devotion to my brother. And whenever he has needed me, I have been there. And no matter what I do, I'm at the complete mercy of that devotion. After everything that you have done, all the pain that you have threatened, told you have killed, all the pain that you have put him through, he has always forgiven you. My redemption, like a man holding a stone at an endless mountain. You know, mountain is endless, brother. Some are just stupid than others. I am a monster. You of all people know that. We are all those monsters. We have committed countless atrocities over the years. The monster in me can only be checked by the monster in you. I have to forgive him. Forgiveness. <laughs> Oh, Elijah. Ooh. All right. Next chapter, we got family above all. Elijah, it hurts me to see you pretend you don't deserve happiness. But I always thought of you as being the compassionate. He dedicates himself to everyone. Himself. This was, this was my fault. I did all, all of this. You did it to protect us. I can't let you hurt my family. Well, he had no choice. I had no choice. I had no choice. We have a choice! But if I have to make you suffer to protect Rebecca, that is what I will do. You will protect this family at any cost. I protected our family! I see you're always working some angle to protect your family. At least Klaus is up front about it. But not you with your manners and your suits and your handkerchiefs. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Now you tell me what you want from me. What was I supposed to do, Klaus? I need you to do something! No one hurts my family and lives. <laughs> Something you must understand about this family. Under threat, we take action, for better or worse. Whatever it takes to protect our own. Today I did things I abhor to protect the one thing I value most. You know, difficulties aside, I value my family about everything. My family. The one truth you speak, the one thing that I agree with entirely. And what's that? The unconditional love of family. Only the love of family is unbreakable. I will fight for my family until my last breath. It is the only love worth fighting for. My family. They may be dysfunctional, but they bring lunatics. But they stick together no matter what. We sit together. Family is always first. But we remain together. We remain together. Always. Forever. Do you wish to die? You come at him. You come at me. I will always choose him. I will. That's one of my favorite moments from all the compilations that I've watched when he's standing up to his dad and saying, I will always choose him. Talking about Klaus. Uh, absolutely love that moment. Help you and I will stand by you. I will be your brother. We are bound forever to those with whom we share blood. While we may not choose our family, that bond is not great. The bond of family blesses us with an immeasurable power. It gives us a responsibility to love without condition. We can never waver from the power of that bond, even when it is tested. Family above all. Family above all. Why provoke a fight you cannot win? I'll be the very devil himself, but make no mistake. Elijah. I would violate everything sacred under the sun in the name of rescuing my niece. Whatever it takes to keep us safe. We all make sacrifices in the name of this family. End it! Elijah. Elijah, do it! Even I must make certain sacrifices. The promise of always and forever. Forget it. Let it go. Always and forever. I mean, those words are as important to me today as they, as they ever were. You were always the keeper mm. of our bond. And because of that, you will feel this pain the most. What's this? 
You're always the keeper of our bond. Basically saying like he's the one who's kept them together or kept that that element of uh, family loyalty and, and loyalty to each other uh, together. Listen, I love that. And I mean, like, I'm not I'm not naive or ignorant to the fact that not everybody's fortunate enough to have a family that they could, you know, say that about or feel that about. Um, we all get what we get. But, um, you know, I, I've shared on my other channel, my family is amazing, like very supportive, very just there for me. So I absolutely love uh, that aspect of this show. I don't know. Glorious ride. I know I didn't write it. What are you doing here? Protecting my family. I know you sound like my brother. No, I did everything that I could to protect you. Protect me! You're talking about him in the past tense. He's been away. Well, sometimes it's good to make a fresh start. Rebecca asked me if there was somewhere I could go to be happy. Begin again. You love it here, don't you? I mean, you're happy. Do I have any requests? If something feels right, you don't question it. How does he look? Happy. I miss him too, Nick, but you have got to leave. Is it odd having strangers confide in you? I guess I just have that kind of face. Your name is Elijah Michelson. You're talking about somebody else's life. No, this is still your life! Why did you hide who you are from me? Michelson's are nothing but chaos and bloodshed. I don't want you to know that part of me. You may not remember yourself or your family, but we need your help. Tell me why you wrote it. Tell me. This is interesting. I feel I haven't seen many clips from whatever this storyline is where he doesn't know himself or know recognize the family. Very interesting. Me because you asked me to. But we are your family. The problems always end forever. It anchored you, filled you, grounded you for a thousand years. Remember that love we had glorious times together and we will have more of you stuff he was my love star i don't do well without elijah i can't do this without you elijah they say elijah michelson was his north star evening elijah nicholas elijah was always there for me swooping in when my rage got the better of me setting me on a path to redemption for a thousand years he made me need him but he needs his brother as his co-captain he's got to have elijah i tend to die by your side because we don't choose to become what we are to be not the best by Esther and Michael stole stealing the back. The purpose of my life, my unrelenting desire, has always been. I'll stop searching for his redemption when I believe there is none left to be found. Your redemption. Open the red door. The door. Let it all back. <laughs> you need me. I need you. What if there's nothing after this? No peace. Just darkness. And I finally get it. We face it together. You'll never leave class. What have you done? What I've always done. I followed my brother here to New Orleans to engage in a war. I followed you under the fire. Who was going to fall? That was hard. I followed my brother to New Orleans to engage in a war. Ah, let's go. I followed my brother here to New Orleans to engage in a war. I followed you under the fire. Who was going to follow you from this adventure to whatever lies beyond? It's been a glorious ride, Nicholas. My greatest honor. Wow. Great job. TVDU editor. Awesome video. Um, you should be really proud of, of your stuff. Like, I mean, I think you do a really, really good job of putting stuff together. Um, definitely leaving me as somebody who hasn't watched it with a lot of questions, but I'm sure people who have watched it, um, just some great kind of flashbacks and, and stuff to like their favorite moments or cool moments from the show. Um, that was cool. I love how like, I don't understand how it works, but like I love how it recommends my own stuff to me. Like I just didn't think that that was how it worked. Uh, but yeah, there's my last two. There's the Finn Michelson and then the Ronaldo. Oh, this is old. I must have loaded this a few days ago. That's probably why. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you're super excited. I'm super excited to get started on the show. Uh, I think it's going to be awesome. Um, once I start the first few episodes, I'll figure out what kind of commitment I can make in terms of regularity. I am comfortable saying today that it will be at least uh, one episode a week. 
just with like my other main channel uh, and then obviously like other content that people watch as well. Um, it's difficult for me to kind of commit to say I'm going to do like more than that at this moment. Uh, but once I kind of get going and I see how things are working out, if I can do more than one a week, then I will 100% try. I always try to do more, uh, but I I'm comfortable saying one a week to start. Okay, so if you guys are here, uh, still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.